Welcome to Jisme TV. Hey, my country people, make una come here. Another Obonge story. Una no say South Africa now don't they carry cow? Did they do DNA to find out the paternity of a child? <laughs> so right now, as I tell una, if people born Pekin for South Africa, according to the information of me, and not the South Africa, I did Canada here. Je, je, je. Uh -huh. So now then take carry the information come knock us here. Now I say make I throw we and give my people <laughs> make them here. So now as I they tell you now, then talk say so to find out whether na man give the belly, knock the peku so then take bump Pekin. Now cow now then take they do DNA. <laughs> Anyways, make I just throw away the Tori as it as it land for GMTV table. <clears throat> so South Africans have taken to micro blogging platform Twitter to share an unusual practice of finding out a kid's paternity, commonly referred to as the African DNA test. Eh? So right now, they say waiting it require na a man or his family taking his newborn kids to a farm with cows and the animals get to reveal what the child's biological family. how then go they use cow to find out who papa of picking be cow how so the thing surprised me it not even let me i know if phantom the whole to read and i make it can't be like say the thing they be me surprised for here so so when they come carry and come out Say, see how they come, they do them now. Some people actually come out, say, yes, say, it actually happened to them, all, right? Say, it actually happened to them. He said, in a tweet, a South African woman shared photos of a father taking two babies to a farm. What if those cows come to say, na food? What if the cows come feel, say, this papa so we carry in two children? Say na food, the car they can't give them. The cow go just go there, step and bounce on the pick on the picking them. He go just buy the picking them. Me, I don't understand them. Well, then say na African DNA, but now only South Africa I hear say this one for the happen. So it never happened for Nigeria. It never happened for other African country. But right now, as we the talk, then talk say, talk say oh, <laughs> then talk say it happened for South Africa. So the man so. Where then say nine duam, he born two children. So it be like say, he not believe say nine nag the quakers where then take born the two children. I mean, contact say, he won't go find out who nag quakers where then take born the two children. So nine, he can't carry the two children using leg, can't carry them go do what they call African DNA testing. So uh, nine, he can't carry the children, he can't put them for there. Make I read Una the comments of other people. Mm -hmm. Hey, the thing don't make social media come catch fire. So somebody here come talk say in 2002, my maternal grandmother once told my uncle that the child is not his and she is not going to welcome a hmm, I'm not gonna call him that name. Hey, in her family after this African test. So now they say the cow <laughs> not play with the picking. How then they find out, say, not be the papa born the picking. Where it can't be saying grandmama can't talk, say, they're not going to welcome the, the woman and in picking. How? And this one, she say it happened to them 2002. So she they surprised now, say, for this 2002, after 20 years again, this same thing where them practice those days, if they show face again, where for this modern age, people now see they carry their children, go they give cow, make cow, find out who born them. My uncle got very angry. They didn't talk for a year until the lab DNA test confirmed that what our granny was saying was wrong. So the woman now come be say, she not come mind them. Now she can't say, she go carry her own children, go lab, hospital, not be cow, go find out. Now she carry them, go hospital. She can't find out, say, yes. Now the man, born the picking. Say, not be the one way cow talk before the family can't accept them within children. If the baby is yours, the cow will not hurt the kids. Seriously? <laughs> hey, make una come, oh, see what in South African people they talk for here. Hmm? If the baby is yours, the cow will not hurt the kids. If they kick and knock those babies with their heads, it means 
they are someone else's kid. Oturubeke. Hey, seriously. So if not be you born the Pekin, the cow go use the Pekin play ball. He go use head. Hey, see what halao. Hmm. Okay, so make I read again waiting the other person talk. <laughs> this one saying, apparently, if the baby is yours, the cow will not eh another person again from South Africa, they write the same thing. Say so if the baby is yours, the, the cow will not hurt the kids. Say so the cow will play around and that will make you to know that the, the kids are yours. Another person here say, what if the cows just didn't like the kids vibe? Okay, make una answer the question. All my South African people, make una gather here, make una answer this question. So what if the cows not come like the vibes of the children or the vibe of the uh, the man we carry the children come or even say the cow them don't get wrong day you know say sometimes you get days where uh, cow go just day angry maybe the person where they lead the cow don't use uh, koboko hammer them now cow don't the verse now you can't carry your pekin come there what if if the pekin belong to the man the cow will just play with the children. But if the kids are crying, they will be calmed down. It might be difficult to explain, but once you experience this, you will have much respect for our DNA. Really? Hmm. Waiting person never know, you never know. Me, I be never know this one, no. As I say, I'm so my country people. Now I say, make I carry, I'm come now, kuna here. Thank you very much for watching Just Me TV. Don't fail to like, share, and subscribe. And to our returning subscribers, we really appreciate every one of you. Now, Rosalind, the Nag Thank you very much for watching.